the day has come and we are doing my giveaway reveal. So if you guys are interested in finding out who is going to win my 100 subscriber giveaway prize, stay right where you are. Hi everyone. Well, this is an exciting one. I'm going to do a really quick video, but I wanted to do it in a video. I thought this would be fun and I got inspired by Jennifer from All Feisty. I'll link her channel down below. I saw a video from her by now, I guess maybe a couple of months ago. I can't remember to be honest, guys. And what I loved was that she did a reveal in a video. She actually picked her winners. I think she had multiple winners for her giveaway and she picked them with you know everybody watching which I thought was such a fantastic and fun idea so that's what I'm gonna do today but before we jump right into it if you are new to my channel welcome my name is Natalia I am doing a year-long no buy for the entire year of 2020 I recently hit a hundred subscribers and uh, put out a giveaway and actually throughout the past three weeks that the giveaway has been running I've managed to get another 200 subscribers so I'm over 300 now. I don't know how many of you guys are gonna stay past this giveaway. I don't know. I honestly don't know how YouTube works. This is my first year on YouTube. So I don't know if people sometimes just come on board for the giveaway and then leave afterwards, which is totally fine. If you've discovered over the past few weeks that my content is just not for you, I completely understand there are no hard feelings. But for every single one of you that is new to my channel and has joined in the past three weeks, I'm so grateful and I'm so thrilled to have you here. I really do hope you will stay and I hope you will enjoy my future content. And those of you that are checking out my channel for the first time, I do a lot of videos that center around makeup I already own. I'm in the midst of going through my makeup and doing a makeup collection series, which I can link down below if you're curious about some of the categories I've already completed. And just be a little more responsible with the things I use with the past purchases that I've made instead of only craving things that are new and letting my old makeup sit around and get unloved and eventually expire. So that's one of the many reasons I really needed this no buy and I hope that if you are in a similar position where you feel like you do have a lot of things already that you would benefit from using more that you would consider subscribing and joining our frugal family. And now with that out of the way let's talk about what this video is about because because it's so exciting. So I've gone ahead and wrote down the names of all the people that entered the giveaway and you guys are all in this jar and we're going to pull out. Oh, I have a, I have a pull on my shirt. Oh, what a bummer. Okay, well that's no fun. I need to go cut this. BRB, I need to go take care of this. Okay, we're back. So I have gone ahead and after I closed the giveaway on October 4th, went through all of your comments and wrote down everybody's name on a little slip of paper paper, which I then folded up and threw in this jar. But I decided, since usually the saying goes, pull a name out of a hat, that we would actually pull a name out of a hat. Because it so happens that many, many years ago, a friend of mine gave me a bunch of hats that she inherited from her uncle because she knew that I really enjoy hats. To be honest, I've only worn one. I have five different hats and I am toying with the idea of maybe selling a few, but I'd like to keep one or two. So I've pulled out what I think are my three favorites and I decided that aside from picking one to drop all of these names into and then pick a name out of that hat that I would also get your votes on which of these three hats I should definitely keep, which is a definite no-no, vote down below in the comments and let me know what you guys think. I have this really cool, I hope you guys can see it. I have this really cool kind of cowboy hat. It's made of a really nice felty kind of fabric. It's got this adorable feather and these are all vintage hats. I mean, these are, this is a Stetson hat and it has like the style name and everything still written in. You can see inside here, it says by Stetson. So these are definitely older hats. I don't know how old I haven't done any research. I haven't checked out the name brands. I haven't priced them. Because as I said, I have two others that I'm not even going to show you guys today. If you'd like to see them in the future video, let me know if you want to vote on all five of them. But I'm going to, I think, pick one or two to keep for myself and then probably sell the rest. So this is the first one. These are all men's hats, I believe, but 
I don't care. I think they are cute nonetheless. I love any kind of hat. Everything from a French beret to a straw beach hat, which used to be my favorite. So I used to have a lot of like big straw hats that I would parade in Manhattan around in. I have a hair in my mouth, sorry. So yeah, this is a one hat that I am considering and we might use for our giveaway reveal. This is one that I am really tempted to keep because it is a green hat and I do love greens. I do especially love this sort of like an olive green. This one is really cute. It's almost like a little more fedora style, I guess you could say. And this one, it says J. Ford Hatter in New York. J. Ford Hatter. So there's that one. And it has this design, which is really cool. And then this last one is, I believe, a rider's hat because my friend did come from a family where they rode horses when they were young. They grew up out in Long Island. I don't know much, honestly, about this hat either. It's just a cool black hat. To me, since I don't ride horses and I don't know much about the sport, this kind of reminded me, if anything, more of like those Broadway hats. So that is why I think this one's really cool. It is definitely more sturdy, <laughs> like a helmet head, but I don't know. I thought that this one is also kind of fun. So let me know what you guys think. I'm sure my hair by now is a total mess. And I think for our intents and purposes, I should choose the largest one, like the one that has the largest amount of space. This one I think I'm not going to use because I don't want to ruin this cool shape. I think I'm going to use maybe this green one because we're in fall. It seems appropriate. I do love the color. So what we're going to do is I'm going to put all of these entries into the hat and then mix them around and then pull out the winner. And then of course, I will contact you either via your email or your Instagram, whatever it is that you provided as I asked in your comment. And then you can let me know what your address is and I will go ahead and mail that package out to you sometime next week. And if it's somebody that doesn't reply to me within, let's do three days, I'll give you three days to go ahead and get back to me once I pull a winner and once I contact you. And then if I don't hear from you, I will go ahead and on my own, just pull out another name. I'll go ahead and save these in the jar and uh, contact somebody else. So yeah, I hope that's pretty straightforward, pretty easy. So let's do this. We're gonna do that. There we are. There's all the names. I'm gonna shake this up real well, mix it up. And I'm not gonna go over the prizes again. If you're curious about what the giveaway was, I'll go ahead and link it. But are we ready? Shall we have a drum roll? Mm, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Boom. All right. You guys can see it first. Bambi M. So Bambi M, after I film this video, I'm going to go ahead and see how to get in touch with you. And you are my winner. Oh, how exciting, how exciting. I'm so thrilled. This is the first time I'm doing this. So I, I'm probably more excited than you are. <laughs> Yay, so Bambi M, I am so thrilled for you. I am going to go ahead after the video and just in case put all the names back in this jar, but I hope, of course, that I can get in touch with you and that you reply within three days and I will go ahead and mail out your prize. I think that is basically it for this video. I will go ahead and film another video right after this so you guys will see this look. In case you guys are curious, I do list all the makeup that I put on my face in every single video and you will see this makeup again. But I wanted to shout out two products today. I wanted to shout out the BH Zodiac palette. I know this palette's been around for a really long time. I got it at a discount, I believe at TJ Maxx or Marshalls, it probably still says TJ Maxx. And I finally played with it for the very first time. Was it yesterday or the day before? I can't quite remember. And I'm 
I'm really enjoying it and I'm using it again on my eyes today. If you want to see the first look that I created with this palette in case you have it and you want some inspiration, I actually posted it on Instagram. I, me, the person that barely knows how to use Instagram, actually posted a look on Instagram. So go ahead and check that out. I'll link my Instagram down below. And then the other product that I absolutely had to give a shout out to is my highlighter. Some of you might know that I have made a wonderful friend here on YouTube and we actually even did a collab, which I will make sure to link. It was such a fun collab to do. Her name is Tan from Tan's Beauty and she was so sweet. I had done an Ulta 21 Days of Beauty anti haul uh, I guess a month ago whenever the sale was going on and I mentioned in there that the only product really that I'm sort of lusting after and the only one that I wish I could get my hands on was the Benefit Cookie Highlighter and she went ahead and got it for me and sent it to me. This is I guess like the equivalent of my very first subscribers mail. I think of this more as a gift from a friend by now honestly and not really so much a gift from a subscriber but it's both and both are exciting so I just wanted to show you guys this highlighter because this is a new addition in my collection which of course in a no buy year is extra exciting. I do have it on and this thing is blingy. This thing is nice. I really really am enjoying it so far. I've only used it twice so far so far. Of course, I'll have to use it some more to see what I really think, but I am so grateful, Tan. Thank you so, so much. And I'm also grateful that you always watch all my videos, all of those of you that watch and keep coming back. It's it's just amazing. So please know that I appreciate every single one of you. I hope that you know that. I hope that you realize how fun it is for me to see your comments, how fun it is for me to interact with you. I really do get so excited for every, every single comment and for every Every new person that subscribes, it is just such a wonderful feeling. That is it. I just wanted to jump on real quick and film this with you guys. Let me know if you've enjoyed this. I, I mean, I don't know. I don't see too many people doing giveaway reveals on camera and I kind of think it's fun. So let me know what you think. I really hope that you guys are all doing well. I once again want to thank every single one of you for subscribing and for entering. I really do hope that you will continue to enjoy my videos. If you haven't subscribed and you're brand new, please consider doing so. It would mean the world to me. And other than that, I hope that you guys are all well. I hope that you're continuing to stay safe and healthy. And I hope that you're taking care of yourself and those around you. And I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.